22 signs you are a psychic medium. Number one, another family member is a psychic medium. This means there's a possibility of it being within your family's bloodline, giving you a higher chance to have inherited it as well. Number two, you see dead people and or other beings, aka clairvoyance. This can be in the form of dreams, astral projection, seeing them with your third eye and or with your physical eyeballs. Number three, you hear dead people and or other beings, aka clear audience. This can be in the form of ear ringing, hearing metaphysical sounds, disembodied voices, hearing energetic and pressure shifts, invisible movements, etc. Number four, you feel dead people and or other beings, aka clairsentience. This includes feeling their energy, their death, any physical effects, negative and or positive, from entities and spirits, or even from those that are alive. Number five, you just know correct information without any prior knowledge, aka claircognizance, can come to you as your own thoughts or a gut feeling about something or someone. Number six, you often lucid dream. Vivid and detailed dreams with some degree of control or manipulation. Number seven, you often actual project and or remote view. This can happen while asleep or awake. When asleep, you may have no, some, or a lot of control of your actions. You visit other realms, legit earth locations, communicate with other beings, entities, and spirits. Can be in first or third person point of views. Number eight, you often see random shapes and colors when you close your eyes. When you close your eyes, it literally looks like a kaleidoscope of shapes and colors. Number nine, you have the ability to heal people. Whether that is in the physical or remotely, you are able to heal others with your energy and or with the aid of benevolent beings. Number 10, you feel people's physical pain in your body, aka clairsentience. Oftentimes, you take on the mental or physical ailments of others, experiencing them as your own. Number 11, energy perception. You experience energy in a multitude of ways and or can manipulate it. Number 12, telepathy. You can read the minds of others. Number 13, you have memories of your past life. Many children experience this, and if you are someone where these memories don't fade away as you grow older, especially as an adult. Number 14, you have premonitions and or prophetic dreams. Visions, dreams, and or predictions that come true. Number 15, you are extremely skilled in divination. Not just your average tarot or oracle card reader, you use divination tools in combination with your intuition that allows you to relay accurate information. Number 16, you can communicate with animals. Any means that allows you to effectively communicate with animals. Number 17, you are hypersensitive in terms of your regular senses. You are oversensitive to bright lights, loud noises, smells, among other things that have to do with your physical senses. Number 18, you have had multiple and or continue to have telekinetic experiences. Your psychic energy is so strong, you often create poltergeists and or produce psychokinetic energy that can move physical things around and cause electronics to go haywire. Number 19, you have a knack for spirit photography. 
Those who can effortlessly catch spirits on film typically have intuition that guides them to taking photos at the perfect moment and location. Number 20. Psychometry and Psychic Impressions Physically touching objects or going to places and or remotely receiving information about a person, place, or an object in a multitude of ways. Number 21. Spirit Communication Whether that's through meditation, just talking, telepathically communicating, astral projection along with so many other methods in which a person talks to spirits and or entities. Number 22. BS Meter and or Discernment a great lie detector, no other's intentions, and can tell the difference between good and bad people and spirits and entities.